Hey, how's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the Zemonix channel. Today, we're going to be building the XG Build Fire, the Build Fighters. Uh, it's from the novel, uh, the manga series, the uh, Amazing Ready series. Uh, it's the Lunar Gazer Gundam. So basically, it's combining the Hakushiki and the uh, Star Gazer Gundam together. And it's piloted by Lady Kawakuchi. If you don't know who she is, uh, she make her appearance in the uh, Gundam Bill Fighters try. Uh, yeah, you should probably do some revision if you don't know about it. Uh, we check on the side, we got some action here uh, with the Marine Rival, the Voyager Lumiere. So it's the thing that attach on the back of the Stargazer. Unfortunately, I don't have a Stargazer, so I don't have the beam, you know, the beam halos spinning around from on the MS. And it got the additional, uh, lighting part the hologram stickers to make it glow, glow better and then at the side here we have the front and the rear view and then we have the specification and the introduction the lunar gazer da, 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 da. you can read that all yourself i'm not gonna read it okay anyways let's just open it first now let's start looking at the instruction menu first so you know first so we got the specification here and then the pilot introduction and then you know the the pilot's information as well and then um so flip to the back we got the color guide we got some weapon introduction and then we have the view of the gunpla and then we turn it into the middle and then we can see it's based on the hakushiki and the stargazer gundam and as you can see the backpack can be open just like the stargazer and you know we're just going to quickly flick through the instruction menu it's a pretty long one though Hmm. All right, now let's take a look at the runner. So this is the A runner. So it's from the Hakushiki, and we can see some legs part. We have some some back waist, uh, arms part, uh, some torso part, and then some kind of little arms part as well. And then we have the antenna at the down here, but and some kind of handpiece armor here. So, but I assume uh, some of the parts here will not be used. A D2 runner from Hyakushiki as well. We got the uh, pipe, we got feet, we got uh, backpack, the torso, and then we also have some inner frames for the arms and legs. A C2 runner, so it's for the legs, and then uh, some part of the thrusters, and I believe some part for the arms as well. A F2 runner from the Original, so it's an original runner from the Lunar Gazer. It's the feet, uh, the backpack, and the hands, I believe. This is from the Hakushiki as well, the B runner, the shoulders, the the backpack, the uh, side skirt, and then, you know, got some arms, options, arms, and then, you know, the beam saber handle here. F1 runner, original from original runner as well so it's the torso the backpack and some part of the and the more parts for the backpack a c2 a g2 runner which includes the uh front the, the little arm piece on the front waist and then you know the little front part for the head and then also i believe this is the i don't really know which two part is this but we'll find it out uh, E2 runner is the antenna and the, I believe this is the front of the torso as well. So it's an original runner. A G1 runner, which I accidentally broke the middle. Uh, is the front boy, is the front skirt. And then we got some, we got the head parts and then we also got the, uh, which part is this? I believe this is the head. A B runner from Hyakushiki again. So not going to introduce again. A C3 runner, so this is the backpack joint, I assume. And lastly, a C1 runner from the Hakushiki. We got the bazooka, the rival, the uh, hands options, and then we have all kinds of little uh, framework in the Hyakushiki. And then we have two stickers. So first one is the black sticker, so I believe all the black parts, like those little gaps, a uh, little black gaps is from the stickers. As you can see, this is a huge amount of numbers. There's 11 stickers. And then when we look at the Lunar Gazer one, uh, there's 11 as well. Oh, oh, I understand now. So there's actually two stickers for you. You can either choose the Lunar Gazer to be activated or you can choose the Lunar Gazer to be deactivated from the uh, Stargazer mode thing. And then, oh, I also forgot to mention, this is the E runner for the little uh, clear piece in the head. And then potty caps. And that's pretty much it. All right, guys, let's not talk too much and let's jump straight into the building. Yeah, 
lot of you kids, it's a fucking jungle out there. Keep your head on tight, I know brain and mind me, baby, let's do it. Y'all see me fly and never drop down, drop down, smoking high, am I am not round, I'm not round, no denying what I got now, I got now, keep an eye out, keep it locked down, locked down, see me fly and never drop down, drop down, smoking high, am I am not round, I'm not round, no denying what I got now, I got now, keep an eye out, keep it locked down, locked down, you're too strong when I battle with the beast, bring a few on, the commander and the chief, for my crew on Bullets rattling and whistling at your toque Never sleep, eyes open, hands clutching on my throat This a war zone This a war zone Yo, this a motherfucking war zone Zone, homie, say you ready and prepare Take a minute and make them aware Well, I'll be sneaking in the back But it's worth the clap, homie, life ain't fair Caught me crawling through the mud Where the vision saw it clearly Born a shepherd to these sheep Make them fear me, this a war zone Trashed out, trap house, nothing ever given Yeah, every day's a blessing Thank the Lord, oh, how I'm living See me riding with my top down Oh, cops round, pedal pressing on the gas I don't think I'll ever stop Hey guys, welcome back to the review of the uh, Lunar Gazer Gundam. So this is a finishing product. Um, so first, before we move on to the details, uh, let's just take a moment to appreciate how good it looks. So first, it combines the design of the Hakushiki, <clears throat> and then it combines with the Stargazer design, which I personally think that Stargazer is one of like, like the coolest design of all the Gundam at all. Like. Look at those, you know, uh, laser things that come out of a body. But unfortunately, I don't have a Stargazer um, in my collection. So I can't show you what it looks like with the actual effects on it. So uh, very sorry about that. <clears throat> but anyway, we are now back to the, our main character today, the Lunar Gazer. So first, as I said, it combined the Hyakushiki design. So it basically used a lot of Hyakushiki parts. And it is because that it takes the Hyakushiki design. It looks very slim. And I actually give us the first impression when I finish the whole product is uh, it's very slim and it looks very comfortable and it's just overall it looks very good. Um, so normally uh, if you've been watching my videos, you know that I said once that I don't like two universe design combined together. But this time I think it worked out very well I, and and I very like it and I love it very much this design. I personally will say though this is probably like the this is probably like those top tiers good customization of the Gampa. But anyway, um enough, you know, enough just uh compliment. Let's just say let's just go let's just go straight into the review. First, just like the normal, we're going to look at the head first. So the head this time uh is using the new mold. So it looks pretty similar to the Hyakushiki. Uh, but it's not exactly using the part of the Hakushiki. Like basically, most of the head is new. Uh, of course, the stickers is uh, of course the stickers, and the black part at the side of the head. I just use a Gundam marker to you know, just quickly give it a little bit of coloring, and the head can move um pretty freely as well and it can lift up on a pretty high angle but be careful don't lift too much otherwise you have the head starting to pop out overall it's a ball joint anyway and it can look down as well and if you look at the 
if you look at the neck detail here, so I'll call it like the neck detail here, uh, it's pretty good as well. And you make sure to do some panel lighting so you can reach to the max detail potential. Now let's look at the torso. So the torso though, I feel like um, it's a pretty good thing as well. So uh, of course it takes some of the Hakushiki design, but exact, but not exactly. The torso is mostly new. It's not using the Hakushiki part that much. Um, so first we can see that there's two there's two little black circles here. Make sure to uh, pan align it or you just use the gun marker to fill it black because when it came in, it doesn't give you any color. So if you have a if you have the pen aligning and then you know you have those gun marker, just give it a little fill, give it a little give it a little quick paint. And uh, we have two stickers down below here. So we have two green stickers here. And that's pretty much it. And I must say though with the color separation on this torso is doing a very good job as well. Now let's look at the shoulders. The shoulders, <clears throat> so is the Right now is the Stargazer system activated, so I choose the stickers where it's a very blink blink color. Uh, of course, there is uh, those blind stickers like black ones where the uh, Voltimo, Voltimo uh, satellite system is off. Uh, I don't like. I I don't know the exact system name is. So uh, please don't please don't roast me down in the comments if I say it wrong. Um, <clears throat> but <clears throat> there's one. If you really want to want me to pick one thing that I don't like about this Gamma is this glossy milky white color. It it looks a bit oily and um. But I think it's fine. You just give it a little quick paint and it will be fine. <clears throat> so let's talk about the um articulation. So now it can lift to the side. And then it's a ball joint, so please be careful. And it can pop out. It can it can move to the front, but be careful because the angle is so small. It's constantly popping out for the arms. There's a little piece of armor here that you can move, and the arms can bend that height with uh with these back of the hand with a uh shield look like thing, but it's not. This is just a little bit of piece of armor. Uh, there's even a little tube detail here, so make sure you panel like that as well. The hand here is movable. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't give you other hand other than this fist hand or the gun holding hand. Uh, on the other side, though, once you equip the beam rifle, is your your articulation is basically taken away. And the beam rifle, um, the only thing that is different than the Hyakushiki is the tip of the beam rifle is a white part instead of a um. It's the gray part, like the original Hakushiki. Now looking at the waist part, so this time the waist part color separation, I personally very like it, and they did do a very good job about it. Good job, and I. Uh, so the waist, of course, you can flip up, and you can see there's the joint, the joint inside the legs, and a little bit of detail on the on the side skirt as well. Uh, the side skirt um, is a <clears throat> pretty good color separation as well. You can lift up slightly as well, and this little piece here. It's not sticker, it's an actual part, yay. We'll flip it to the back. Um, if you see, where's the other beam saber? Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention it. They do give you beam sabers in this model, but they don't give you the effect parts. If you have a Hakushiki, just rip that one off and then use it. But uh, here's the little story. This beam saber is a little hard to attach on, so because it's two parts snapped together, you have to make sure you snap it correctly. Otherwise, you will, <clears throat> otherwise you will actually break the beam saber, which I did one right here you can see the beam saber is broken so please be careful when you try to push in the beam saber don't force to push it like i did and and the waist also got this sticker that you can choose you can choose it to be system off or system on i personally like the system on version because they got like this colorful sticker thing that you know glows under the sun i like it now let's take a look on the legs so the legs uh, mostly is use the Hakushiki parts, but this time uh, the only part that is new, I think, is the feet. But anyway, let's look at the articulation. So first, the so first the legs is able to bend a pretty good angle, so it's, it will help you to post. And then next, uh, we have the ball joint and a small a little bit of movement down on the ankle here just that you can adjust to the feet position because it's a ball joint and basically there's no armor down at the bottom so it's very easy to move the legs around the legs um is using a half frame out half armor cover so you can see there's some frame you can see some inner frames of the ms but at the same time it's covered by the armor i pretty like this kind of design but imagine if this design used in real life like People can just shoot your frame and 
you know, tear your MS down. But anyway, this is another topic. So at the front here, we have the stickers for the uh, volume volume satellite system activated mode. And then we turn it to the back and then we can see there's not much to say though. Uh, it can kick to the side, the legs can kick to the side, kick to the front, and also a little bit to the back. And you know, overall the legs articulation is pretty well, and I pre and I and I think it is a very acceptable movement. Now we're gonna need to turn around and look at the backpack. So the backpack, uh, I think it designed very good. I pretty like it. Um, so the backpack is basically a new kind of design. Um, it's not related to the Hakushiki or not related to the Stargazer. I really think that uh, this kind of new design is working very well. So the backpack articulation is pretty impressive, I have to say. It's pretty impressive as well. There's a lot of part that you can move and a lot of part that you can extend as well. And I pretty like it. So, and then also the color separation and the details on it, I love it. But the part that I, you know, the part that I don't like about this gamla is those stickers actually don't priest. It's not sticking too well. And as you can see, if you take a closer look up at the top here, it's starting to lose already. You can see some stickers kind of popping out. Can you see it? Like you can see some stickers start to popping out. And this is the part that I don't like. But anyways, the, the backpack is movable. And uh, so for the backpack, we have two modes. First, this is the flight mode. So you basically just turn the wings around. And now... This is the flight mode. It kind of looks like Strike Noir for me. So if you built a Strike Noir before, you know the Noir, uh, the Noir backpack flight mode is like this. So it kind of reminds me of the Strike Noir. And then the second mode we got is a extended, extended. Uh, so it's the volume satellite system on. So which is like a, which is like the Stargazer. And what we need to do now is just. Do it a little bit like this. Just flipping it around and then, you know, attach it back again. So after you've done the thing, you should have something like this. So this is the full, like, this is the volume satellite mode. And as you can see, it is pretty huge. And basically it looks like this. Of course, now it looks a bit ugly because I can't really catch the angle correctly. But this is how the finishing looks like so you can extend the backpack and turn it into like those stargazer like the stargazer backpack can be separate as well but um this one uh it takes the idea that the backpack can be separate as well and now it looks even better but unfortunately i do not have a regular stargazer as i said so i can't do not do the comparison now let's take a moment to talk about the accessory so the accessory is pretty is pretty straightforward so we have a uh, gun holding hand for the left arm and then we have a fist hand for the right arm and then we have this little piece of unit here that for you to connect the stargazer backpack on the gunpla but i said i don't have one so i can't test it out and this is basically the accessory there's no beam saber exact parts as i said there's beam saber but there's no beam saber effect part so the accessory is basically like this all right guys this is the end of the review hope thank you guys for watching and i would say though this is a pretty solid kit as well and i absolutely love the idea they um i absolutely love the design um this is like the combined design of two eras of technology and it looks very good uh the details on it is very good as well the color separation is doing a quite good job the only part that i don't like is the stickers the stickers don't even don't don't really stick well onto the gamma and now all of it is just all the stickers now is just starting to lose and it looks pretty bad but anyways if you if you prefer the system off version which is black you can paint it yourself you don't have to use the stickers but i like the colorful version of the gamma so that's why i use it and yeah this and this is pretty much it thank you Michael. thank you guys for watching uh, be sure to like my videos or subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys in another gamma review goodbye